Welcome. You're tuned in to the We On podcast. Great to be here. So get this. There's some really uh, intriguing news out. It seems human brains might actually be getting bigger. That's right. We're looking at a fascinating study today. It compares brain sizes across, well, different generations. Okay. Which generations specifically? People born back in the 1930s versus those born much later in the 1970s. And there's a difference. Oh, yeah. A noticeable one. The study found that... Um, on average, the folks born in the 70s had brains about 6.6% larger. 6.6%. Wow. Okay, so what does that actually you know, mean in practical terms? Is it just overall size? Well, it's not just the overall volume, which is interesting. Specific parts of the brain showed increases, too. Like which parts? Uh, things like white matter, gray matter, and also the hippocampus. Ah, the hippocampus that's tied to learning and memory, isn't it? Exactly. Super important for those functions. Yeah. So it's seeing an increase there is uh, pretty significant. How did they even figure this out? Measuring brains across decades sounds tricky. Yeah, they used data from a really long-term project, the Framingham Heart Study. They looked at MRI scans taken over quite a span between 1999 and 2019. So they had actual images of brains from different birth years. Precisely. People born in the 30s and people born in the 70s all scanned when they were roughly the same age, average around 57. Right, comparing apples to apples, sort of. And the volume difference was clear. Yep. The average for the 1930s cohort was around uh, 12,234 milliliters. For the 1970s cohort, it was closer to 1,321 milliliters. Okay, so a bigger brain, does that translate to like any real benefit? That's the key question, isn't it? The thinking is it might lead to increased brain reserve. Brain reserve, what's that like extra capacity? Kind of, yeah. Think yeah. of it as having more um, neurological resources. Uh -huh. It could potentially provide a buffer against age-related decline. So maybe helping to stave off conditions like dementia, is that the idea? That's one of the big potential implications, yes. Right. A larger, perhaps healthier brain structure developed earlier in life might be more resilient later on. Hmm, resilience. So it suggests maybe better brain development overall for later generations. It could reflect that, yeah. Improved brain health across the board. What's driving this, though? Is it just, you know, evolution or genetics doing its thing? Well, genetics always plays a part, of course. But the researchers think external factors are really important here, too. Like what kind of factors? Things like um, improvements in general health, maybe changes in social factors, cultural shifts, even more access to education over those decades. Ah, so it's potentially a mix of our biology and the environment we grew up in. Exactly. It seems like our surroundings and experiences could be shaping our brains quite literally over generations. It's a complex picture. Really fascinating stuff. A, a glimpse into how we might be changing. Definitely. And the potential link to better brain health and aging is uh, quite hopeful. Absolutely. Well, that's all we have time for on this deep dive. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.